Hey you guys, I just wanted to make a quick video demonstrating a, an app I built recently that is supposed to help train your peripheral vision. It's uh, called the Schultz Tables. And the idea is you have a, a grid of numbers you have to uh, touch in sequence and you try to go as fast as you can. And the trick is to, instead of focusing on each individual number, you kind of look in the center and your peripheral vision is supposed to see all the numbers at once. So here's an example. So I'll start on the easy one. Go ahead and click uh, four by four. And there you go. Uh, finished in 5.9 seconds. And there's some other modes too. We can get a little bit harder. Oh, almost messed up there. So you're supposed to, I believe, have a certain size table, a certain distance from your face. So you're actually, you know, testing the limits of your peripheral. This uh, is on the monitor. It's actually too small to be practical at the distance I'm sitting it from. But uh, you can change the device too. Like if I exit here and we go back to the real mode, you can see it gets much larger. So it should expand to the whatever device you are uh, playing the game on. And you can get even really big. If you go up to six by six, this one will probably take too long to finish, and it's not that much different, so it won't bother. Um, but you can go ahead and see your scores on uh, each uh, different type of uh, table you played on. Uh, currently, there's not a lot of refresh stuff, so you have to manually refresh to get the five and. It's got some cool charts here, so you can go down and see like where maybe you're getting stuck always in the middle. So you see this uh, big increase. I mean, I took more time to go from uh, 11 to 12 than I did. All these numbers are fairly quick. You can see it only took about half a second to get all these numbers. And this one took almost a uh, full second. And then these are all pretty slow, so I was uh, struggling. So, you know, you could imagine doing some analysis to figure out which particular numbers maybe your eyes have hard to read, you know. Obviously, the numbers that are single digits are relatively easy to pick up in, uh, uh, when, you know, they, they're not as wide, so it's easier to see. Um, you can also, I think I have a mode on here where you can do letters. So this one, you have to go A, B, C, D, all the way up to M, and then one, two, three. So you can imagine <clears throat> your eyes may be getting confused because now you have the number one, a letter I and J, which all look fairly similar. Uh, you can look at what other users have played. I actually have two different accounts that are the same name. And then this is kind of all your scores. It's not actually very useful because it needs to be broken up by category. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time in the app because I'm not sure how many people care or use it, but I thought it was fun. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. See ya.